And basically what it is, each committee at Norfolk County Council in the months before budget have to decide some recommendations to feed into that budget. So today the Adult Social Care Committee were asked to agree a load of recommendations that have been put forward. They included things such as cuts to warden services, cuts to something called the Supporting People Grant and a number of other multi-million pound savings. So the councillors all sat down around the table and had a discussion about which services they think need to be protected and which services they say government pressures on money mean they will have to cut. And what was the decision, what, what was the outcome of the meeting? Well they've agreed to make it some £11 million worth of savings over the next financial year um, and the most controversial bits of that are basically the Supporting People grant. That is used by organisations such as the Benjamin Foundation, YMCA, St Martin's Housing Trust in Norwich, to basically keep people off the streets and in accommodation. And their argument was that by making these cuts, those people will not get that service. It could lead to an increase in homelessness, it could lead to an increase in people going to A&E, and it could lead to increased pressure on, say, Norwich City Council for people wanting services from them. So some of the councillors have accused um, the controlling group at Norfolk County Council of effectively shunting the services to other organisations in order to balance their own books. For their part, the Conservatives say that there's pressures from government, there's just not enough money for um, social services, that's why council tax is probably going to have to go up. And they say they have targeted their spending on specific services, but they confess that means there's a trade-off and some service services will be lost.